Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Lost Sheep of Israel, Las Ovejas Perdidas de Israel. Um, welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome to my camp, LSOY, um, L-O-P-D-I, Lo Soy, Lo Pedi. Okay, um, this is uh, a segment that I wanted to do on the end of days, okay, Jacob's Trouble. Uh, what is Jacob's trouble? What should we look, be looking for? And what um, do we need to do? What, what do we need to do to avoid uh, um, all this calamity that's about to befall um, us as, as the children of Israel and the land of captivity that we live in? So let's get on to the lesson. Always giving all glories and praises to the Most High. Kahalal, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, Barakata. All right, let's get on with it, man. Let's take ourselves. Um, there's a, a few longer chapters that we're going to study in depth. And then I'm going to, um, of course, give you uh, precepts to those, cha uh, uh, to those uh, chapters so that... Uh, Everything coincides and you can see that everything is backed by the word, backed by the spirit. So for our understanding and for our benefit, Quam let's get on with it. All right. So let's start in Jeremiah 30 and 7. Okay. Jeremiah 30 and 7. All right. So it says, Alas, for the day is great. So none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who is Jacob? Well, Jacob is synonymous with the 12 tribes of Israel. It's our forefather, which his name was uh, changed to Israel. And, and so that's why we are called the Israelites because he is our forefather, Jacob, and we come and descend from his seed. Okay, so... Um, it says, like no time, like no time like it. There, will, there shall be no time like this. This will be uh, very troublesome, troublesome times for Jacob. But he shall be saved out of it. Okay? So it is but a short time that we enter into this Jacob's trouble, into this great tribulation that they've been mentioning for quite some time. And we're getting to that point that we are going to see the end of days just um, shortly here. And how do we know this? Well, just watch the news. Just uh, see what, what everything that's going around you, um, how we're stirring up uh, troubles in the Middle East, how uh, the Eastern world is set up ready to engage the Western world. Um, so this is World War Three in the making, if you don't see it. But there's been clues. There were clues for, for us to see um, these end times, for us to judge uh, and, and, and disseminate when we were really in these times. And through the Spirit and through the blessings of the prophets uh, that, that even come before me and, and, and are real steadfast in this truth, um, longer than, 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 than I, but, uh, we're working together in the spirit to, uh, bring out this information. So with that being said, let's precept, um, uh, Jeremiah 30 and seven with, uh, Psalms 14 and seven. Let's go to 14 and seven here. And it said, Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion when the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people. Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Okay, so this is where it's connecting Jacob and Israel as being one, right? We're, we're, we are one in the same. Jacob is Israel. Israel are we. Okay, so... We shall be glad because the, the once again, the Most High will bring us up out of our captivity. If you think that, that you're not in captivity, you are sadly mistaken and you do not see 
the things that that go before you or, or, or the things that you're even involved in. Um, you think you have the illusion. Uh, I mean, well, you think that you're free, but it, you, it's an illusion of freedom because you're not free. You still have to do whatever it takes to survive out in, 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 in your land of captivity. And so, I mean, even myself as a retired man, I'm still subject to the powers that be. I mean, I don't, I'm not free from anything. I still got to pay rent or mortgage. I still got to pay car notes. I still got to pay uh, gas, light, water, uh, buy food. I, I mean, I, I, I don't have big uh, cultivating farmlands and, and, and where, where I can just cultivate to survive on my own or to feed my people or my circle, okay? Um, I still have to pay the, the, the water bill to even hydrate myself or if not buy water bottles. I don't have my own well that, that I can, you, you know, and, and there are people that live in the country that, 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 that have their own well, but guess what? You still have to pay your, your, your electricity so that that well can pump, okay? I mean, I don't know none of Israel that's still pumping uh, uh, water out of uh, their own cisterns, um, but it, 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 we're talking as a nation in general, we're, we're under the curses and we're under that captivity still, okay? So let, let's go to Luke 1 and 6. So we can look at this a little further. So the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 69. And it reads, uh, Let's uh, start from um, verse You know what? Let's start even from verse 67. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, okay, so here's prophecy. This is a prophet prophesying. So what do prophets do? They can foretell this future via the scriptures, via the Holy Ghost, via, well, it's always going to work in conjunction with the Holy Ghost that he will let us see the prophecies in the scriptures and predict future events via the prophets of old, um, the prophets of new, in conjunction with the Spirit and the Word to see exactly what's going on. So, uh, he prophesied saying, blessed be the Lord, this is verse 68, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Okay, I don't have to keep continually mentioning because I've done plenty of lessons um, showing us and giving us evidence that we are the Israelites scattered abroad. Okay, that's why he, in, in the previous verse, um, the, the, the part of that salvation was bringing us back from the land of our captivity. Okay, we're not captive in Jerusalem in the land. In fact, there are impostors there because we have been scattered and when we abandon our land, Impostors came and took it over as many impostors have come and taken us out of our land and has claimed these lands for themselves, knowing that we were well here before them and knowing well that we are the, the, the people of the land and we still get displaced, divided and, and, and conquered. OK, so we are still under that conquest. OK, because the privilege is not for us. We're not the privileged here in these lands or in the lands of the past. So God has to redeem us from this captivity. Okay. He has to save us from this captivity. This is what salvation is. Okay. That he saves us from the hand of our enemy. That he saves us from destruction. And for that, we need a savior. So for those that keep saying, I'm saved by the sweet blood of Jesus. No, you need to be saved by the sweet blood of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. You need to have that Savior come and save you, okay? You need salvation from something. You can't be saved from nothing, okay? So you need to be saved from what's to come, okay? So you're not saved yet, and 
This is what this lesson is about. Learning to see the signs of the end. Be prepared, dressed and cleansed and ready to go when your Savior comes to get you. Let him find you without blemish at that time. Okay, so I'll repeat uh, Luke 168 and I'm going to go down to 69. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. Okay? He's not talking about any other nations, but we've gone through this in plenty of lessons. So pay attention, Yasharala. Pay attention, Israel. This is for you and only you. Okay? And he hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. I'll, I'll read further. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. This is the world that he speaks of. I've already done the John 3.16 breakdown. The world of Israel is the world without end, as it says in, in Isaiah. We are from, we are from, we were created before the, the world was established. The world was created for us. And the world will end. We are the beginning, the end, the 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 end all say all of this uh, of this life. Okay, we are the everlasting life, and the beginning and the end is the alpha and the omega, the alpha and the omega. Okay, which is Christ. Okay, so everything begins and starts with Christ as well, and it needs to begin and start with Christ in you. But it's just not just simply believing in Christ and think that that's going to buy you a, not, not, that won't even buy you an economy ticket because to believe is to follow is to act upon that belief and just by saying it out of your mouth that you believe and and, and not acting upon that that belief is is death because faith without works is death okay so you got to apply your efforts to follow your savior, to follow the example of that king to, to, to bring you to, to, to that salvation, okay? To, so there, there's a, a little bit of work involved here. And it is not grievous as first John 5 and 3 would say, keep the commandments and my commandments are not grievous. So this, this is not something that's hard. It should be within you, within your spirit to want to do and, 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 and accomplish. So moving forward, okay, so this is, I'll read, I'll, I'll read again, all right, um, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, I want to give that one, uh, let's take it from verse 68, blessed, uh, blessed be the Lord of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, he hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of of, uh, of David. Okay. So. Let's go to. Matthew. Uh, let's go to Romans 9 and 4. Okay. So just to show you. That, that that salvation. That promise. Okay. Because actually, let me revisit real quick again um, Psalms 14 and 7. Psalms 14 and 7. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion when the Lord bring it back the captivity of his people. Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Okay. So moving forward. Salakia, so, Israel. Um, I just wanted to uh, check up on something because I didn't read further down in Luke. So uh, returning back to Luke 1 and 69. All right. So for he had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of 
his servant David. Reading on forward to, say, to verse 70, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. And I gave you that breakdown. Now I want to read verse 71 and 72, that we shall be saved from our enemies. I told you that we have to be Come out of this captivity, out of the, the, the yoke of our enemies, out of the hand of our enemies, under, from under the foot of our enemies. That's part of that salvation too. And from the hands of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? And from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised promise to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Remember his holy covenant. Whose covenant? The oath which, reading on to 73, the oath which he swore unto our father Abraham. So through, we, I went through this lesson previously. Um, through the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we'll continue that covenant, we'll continue that seed. So through the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? So now I can precept that with, with um, let me even read further because I want, you know, it, it's just, this is really compelling if you really pay attention to these verses. Really, these are evidential verses. Okay, reading on through 74. That he would grant unto us. Who's the us? Okay, Israel. Okay, that we being delivered out of the hands of our enemies might serve him without fear. Okay, in holiness in, and in righteousness before him all the days of our life. Okay. So, um. You know what? I'm just going to finish it out. All right. And, and thou child shall be called the prophet of the highest. And thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remissions of their sins. Okay. Key words. His. Theirs. Okay. Through the tender mercy of God whereby the, this, the day spring from the high have visited us. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. To guide our feet, our feet, keyword our feet, into the way of peace. And the child grew and waxed strong in the spirit and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. So again, to the days that he will he will show himself up uh, again to his people. And that's exactly what is happening. He is moving the prophets and moving this, this truth around. I, I, I mean, I live in a town where I don't even think that there's many um, people that have been exposed to the truth. But yet the Lord is showing me that there are people here and there are people everywhere of his people that he is showing the truth to. Um, example, I was in uh, Sam's the other day in, 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 in one of the facilities of my captivity, paying the man for some of my provisions, right? In fact, I was getting a case of water from there. And, and, and so I'm still paying to, to, to hydrate and to survive in this land. And I saw, and I saw a brother and I, and I went to speak to him. And he identified me immediately because why? I keep my commandments. I keep my fringes. I keep my I keep my Israelite ways. And he identified me and asked me, "Are you an Israelite?" And I said, "So you, so you have been exposed to the truth. You know what what an Israelite is? Yes, I've been I, I've been I've been doing some research. I've been I, I've been learning. I, I've been uh, seeing the, the the prophets and the camps. And so." The truth is out. The truth is out. And why? Because the Most High wants it that way. And there's no turning back from here. And the truth is out because it's time. It's time, Israel. This is the time to get to get the engines rolling. But let me go repeat this one verse. Okay? Because, again, uh, let's go up to uh, 1 in 72 of Luke. To perform the mercy promised. 
Who is the promise to? To our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Okay, so we got promise, the covenant, the oath which he swore unto our father Abraham. So let's now is where I want to precept Romans 9 and 4. Okay, so that you can see that this is only exclusively for the Israelites, okay? And even our brother Paul says so, all right? So uh, Romans 9 and 4, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, okay? So everything that's involved with this salvation, according to the Most High's promise to our forefathers, is for the Israelites, okay? Understand this, Israel? Let, 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 let's move on forward, because now we're going to get into why the truth is out, and why we have to be on high alert. Why do we have to be on high alert? So um, we started off with Jeremiah 30 and 7. Describing was Jacob's trouble. But this was also reiterated by Daniel. It was reiterated by many prophets. By uh, Joel, Malachi, Obadiah. All right. So, but um, I'm, I'm, I am I'm want to stick. Because they all have their long Chapters that describe these times, but I wanted to fo um, focus in on, on, on a few. So let's go now to the prophet Daniel, where he describes it, okay? So we'll go to Daniel um, chapter 12, okay? I'm not even going to give you verse because we're going to study this whole uh, chapter or most of it, okay? So let's go to Jan uh, Daniel chapter 12, which is the last chapter of Daniel where he's breaking it down, Okay? All right, so uh, it has it's, uh, it has 13 verses, and I may pause through some of them, but l l just pay attention, Israel. All right, he that have his ear, let him hear. Okay, so starting. This is Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, Okay, he's telling him, thy people, Daniel, okay? Not the Babylonians, uh, where, where they were in, in the Babylonian captivity for this time. Uh, not, not, not in the Philistine people, not the Edomite, not the Canaanite, but his people, okay? All right, I'll read again. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and, and this is the Old Testament, but you're going to see that Christ is in here. Listen, open your eyes, take the band, uh, pray that, that, that the Most High takes those bandages off. If you are the elect, you will see through this, okay? The children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble. Here we go. The trouble, Jacob's trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that time. Same thing that um, Jeremiah 30 and 7 says. At that time thy people, okay, an exclusive people, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, okay? Are we not talking about that same book? Okay, the book that will be uh, that will be in the hands of your, of your Savior, all right? The book that's taken for the right hand of the Most High and given unto the, uh, the King of Kings, Hamashiach, Yahawashai, all right? And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Okay, sleeping Israel needs to rouse that lion. We're waking up. This is what it's talking about. It's not talking about little sleep. It's talking about those bandages. It's talking about you being uh, 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 the walking dead. You're going to come alive. You're going to wake up and you're going to see the truth. Okay? Some to everlasting life. Okay? Just some, not all. And some to shame. Some to shame, okay? So not everybody gets to go. And not everybody's going to stay behind. But how do you don't stay behind? We're going to go through that further in this lesson. 
eh? and everlasting contempt. All right. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Okay. To whom is given wisdom. All right. So we already know this precept. Or most of us know this precept. And if you just come into the truth, this is one of uh, uh, um, um, uh, our most hardcore precepts that we that we go to. Because you've got to understand how, who is given this wisdom. To whom is given this wisdom. Okay, so let, let, let's go to Psalms 111 and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. Okay, you keep the commandments and God is going to bless you with the wisdom that you need to go forward. Because the key here is keeping the commandments. But let's just go back to where we were at. And Luke, I just needed to precept that because this is how we get the wisdom, okay? So going back to Luke 1, and we was uh, around, um, excuse me, to Salakia, Salakia. Um, back to the, the, uh, the breakdown of Daniel uh, um, and, and the troubles that are going on in the last chapter, 12. Okay, so I was, um, let's see, okay? Uh, verse 3, we were at verse 3, and they uh, be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness. So us that are in the truth, we're not about ourselves here. This is love thy neighbor, okay? That we wake up our brothers and sisters and say, look, this is for you. Wake up, and we're going to, and we're turning people to righteousness through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? Through the word, through the spirit of the word, to, 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 to have you wake up and see the truth that's out there that's been kept from you because of captivity, because they know who you are and they don't want you to know who you are. But the truth is out and you can't turn it back now. Okay, I'll repeat that. All right. That turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Okay. There will be a multitude in that one third, right? Because I've always said it's all, it, 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 it's one third of Israel that will be saved. Two thirds of us are going to be lost with everybody else. But the the road to destruction is very wide, and the and the road to salvation is very narrow. So it's only one third of our people. The one third of our people is still a lot of people. All right, Israel, because you're you you're the black Latino and, and Native American, so called. Uh, uh, um, by words, but we are those people and we are a multitude of people, okay? But we're looking for our numbers. We're looking for our cleansing because we need that first class ticket out of here. We need this salvation from this, from the troubles that are about to come and they are here. Just, I don't need to even read the scriptures for you not to see if you're looking at the news or you're watching, even if it's fake news, you're gonna you'll still see the pattern that these people want war. Okay, and nothing is ever getting better, progressively better on our own. The only way it's gonna get better is through our people, through the one third of our people, through the salvation of Yahweh, through the bringing of heaven on earth, the new Jerusalem, our kingdom established, that's the only way things are going to get better. And it's only going to get better through the one third of our people, the saved people on in these days. Okay. So uh, while, while, while you're here and you're not keeping these commandments and you're not uh, uh, progressively better in bettering yourself through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, then you, 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 where, where are you going with this? You're just going to go progressively into the destruction of this earth. Okay. Well, not the destruction of, of the earth per se. The earth will remain, but the, with the destruction of the wickedness of this earth. Okay. So, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. This is the end. Okay. We're getting there. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Okay? So, 
we're, going, we're running to and fro, spreading this knowledge, spreading this truth to wake up our people. This is, this is our duty. This is our job, all right, to hit the highways and byways and wake up our people, show our people our transgression, lift our voice as a trumpet and show our people their transgression, wake them up out of this slumber and get on with the get on with the with, with the end end of this chapter and, and, and usher in the, the heaven on earth, okay? Through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? Then I, Daniel, looked and behold, there stood other two. The one on Salakia. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two. And one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on that side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man cloth in linen. Who you think the man cloth in linen is, okay? Let's, let's just continue, all right? I'll leave that for you to, to disseminate. You're going to see it which was upon the waters of the river. How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? Okay, so they're asking this linen cloth, glorious man, hey, when is the, when, when, when's the end coming? Okay, and I heard the man cloth in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, and he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, okay? And swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for time and times and half. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. So guess what? That part already happened. We were already scattered. We are the power. We are Yahweh's battle axe. We are his power on earth, okay? The elect. Why are we his power on earth? Because we are the elect. We are the, 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 the carriers, the temple of that Holy Spirit, okay? So we usher in what's good and righteous on this earth. We are the light. We are the saints. We are the righteous. So we are that, power, that righteous power on earth, okay? But we've been scattered as a holy people, and and, 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 and and but we're gonna regain our our our, our splendor, okay? We're gonna regain that splendor, but we had to be scattered first, okay? So uh, uh and his power was scattered uh, for a purpose that even no matter where we go, we are still his people under uh, under under the Holy Spirit, under uh, under the power of God. We are still his people, and he will. He will reunite us to show, to demonstrate again his power on earth. Okay? And I heard, but understood not. Because many of, of us are hearing and we're not understanding. Because we're not being blessed by the Spirit. We're, 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 not, we're, we're, not, we're not getting it. Or, or, or it's just not time for you to get it. Okay, and at that time he didn't understand because it wasn't the time because it had to go be from times to times to time and a half past. Okay, so and and all these thousands of times uh, of years have passed. Okay, and here we are still uh, gathering under God's power to now get ready to show our splendor once again. Okay, God is preparing it for the for 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 for, for the closing cell for the closing segment for the for 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 the turning of this chapter. It's coming, okay. And I heard, but I understood not. Then said, "Oh, I said I, oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things?" Okay, so everybody wants to always know when is the end, what what was going down. All right, so that they can be prepared. But you know, the Lord is always telling you, you need to stay prepared. Okay. All right. You need to stay prepared. And we'll precept that in a second. And he said, go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the end, till time of the end. Okay. So he's telling them, don't stress that right now. It's coming. It'll be there at, at the end time. Okay. Here we are. We've made it. All right. Man shall be purified and made white and tried 
but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So we will come into that awakening, okay? We, we, we will just understand in the time of the end and the wicked, they're just going to do the wicked. So that's why we try so hard to save everybody when everybody was not built for this, okay? All right, so... Moving forward, because I, I could precept over and over all these lessons, but since I'm going through a whole chapter and I'm going to go through another chapter, I mean, I, I, for, for sake of time, and I'm, I don't want to make this a, a long, long, long uh, series, because I just want to hit those real important points so you can understand, so the wise can understand. This is not for everybody. So if you're wise, you're seeing it, is because the spirit is in you to see it, okay? And and you're elected for this. So, um, Guam Yasharala, once again, rise Israel, wake up, let's let, let's go. We we're about out of here soon. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, okay? We don't sacrifice anymore. Why? It was taken away, right? Because we're in our captivity, so we can't perform. Everything according to Torah, we do the best that we can in our captivity to the best of our ability, everything that we can possibly do, all right? It'll be in our nature and it'll come naturally for us to do so, okay? So we were gonna, we're going to keep these law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability in our captivity. But look, it's understood that sacrifice was taken away and the abomination that make it desolate set up there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. All right, so twelve hundred and ninety days. Okay, uh, from the time that that the, the sacrifice was taken away, blesses blesses he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand and three hundred and fifth five and thirty days. So you got twelve hundred and ninety. And then you got a few other days after that into 1,300 and, and um, 35 days, right? So there's a time that, that, that we're going to have to deal in, in, in this tribulation. But in, in this time span, shall, 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 shall we be saved up out of it? But understand that our time is not God's time. Our time is not the most high's time, all right? So... The fact that we, we can guesstimate, we can kind of be round about, we can see the signs, we can see that we're entering these times, we can see that we're in the end times, we can see the progression, but we can't pinpoint the actual day. I'm not going to tell you, hey man, on Saturday, uh, uh, September 30th, this is going down. I'm not going to do that because only the most high knows, okay? Not even the sun knows, okay? But when we are standing by waiting for that command. So when the Most High gives the command, Yahweh Shai springs into action, we better be ready. We better be ready for that moment in time. For he cometh as a thief in the night. And if you are not dressed, clean, ready to go, you ain't going. As simple as that. All right? Blessed is the he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and and five and thirty days. But go thou thy way till the end be. Say, all right, Dan. Thank you for, 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 for everything you've done. Go your way and, 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 and just endure. Wait till this time, right? For thou shalt rest and stand in the lot. Whoa. So guess what? He's telling them, go. You're going to rest, okay? The, the scripture says that rest is when you die. But we, we understand, um, I, I haven't given a full regeneration uh, lesson, but we've touched on it. We know that we are the people, the same people throughout the generations. We are regenerated, regenerated into, into these lives. And I'm going to touch on some, some precepts where we're going to be standing in the lot at the end of days. So because not everybody will taste death, some in life will see it with their own eyes. 
you got to understand how privileged you are, Israel, to be in these last days. And you're going to witness with your very own eyes the power of the Most High, the power of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach in His glory coming out of the heavens. All right, so this is a great time for Israel. All right, so be not afraid. All right, let's go to um, Matthew 10 and 22. Okay, because here it says, Bless he that waiteth, okay, in Daniel 12 and 12, right? So let's go to Matthew 10 and 22 to precept that. All right, so Matthew 10 and 22, He and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. So you got to deal with this persecution. Okay? You got to deal with everything that's ever happened to us as a people. All right? From our slavery, from our captivity, from our punishment, from, 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 from being hated. We're the most hated people on the planet. Okay? The black Latinos and Native Americans. You got to ask yourself why. Because the powers that be know who we are. So that's why we're hated. Because to us is the kingdom of heaven. To us is the glory. Okay? So we're, we're the most hated people on the planet. And that's why we're under the foot of our enemies. But he that endureth to the end. He that endures to the end. So what is it to the end? Or to the end? Just deal with your problems and go through it and, 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 and wait till, till everything happens. And, 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 and because you believe in the, in the name of uh, 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 sweet Jesus, you, you, you're going to be um, um, saved. It, it, I, I keep telling you, it's just not believing in the name of sweet Jesus, which is not even the proper name. All right. So until you deal with and believe in your Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and you take as his examples, and you put your works into actions, then you shall be worthy. That is the endurance. Okay? So, um, let's go to Revelation 14 and 12. Okay, so Revelation 14 and 12. Here is the patience of the saints. So patiently endure, patiently wait. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Okay? So we've already been through, to, to, to touched on Trinity, God and Jesus. Here's another, another separation, okay? The Most High and his only begotten son, which is our king, and through everything, everything we do goes through him. There's a chain of command, okay? So he is our head, the most high, Yahawashai, Hamashiach, who, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay? Learn his name in the Hebrew, okay? If they, if they named you Ralph in English, guess what? You are accustomed to being called Ralph. You don't want to be called Raul. All right, so, so or, 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 or something else, okay? So, by origin, his name is Yahweh Shai. It's the name of, of, of the only begotten son of the most high God. And through Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is how we act and we move according to our king. Okay, so again, here is the patience of the saints. This is Revelation 14 and 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are the they, here are they that keep the commandments. So if you're not keeping the commandments, you're not part of that day. Okay, of God. Okay, of who? Of God. All right, not of your pastor. Not of uh, not, not of the doctrines of men, not not of your own imagination, not of uh, Paul, not of Peter, not of not, not even uh, of Christ, because Christ said, "My doctrine is not mine, but He Him that sent me." Okay, so He gave it all to God. Okay, the commandments of God. We live by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And everybody that I just mentioned follows suit. Okay? Christ, Paul, Peter, 
the apostles, and us Israel. I can't include your pastor in that because I, your pastor is not keeping these commandments. Okay? So are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of, of Jesus? Okay? The faith, the faith of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay? All right. So uh, moving forward. Okay? So um, let's get back to... to, to to uh, let's go to Matthew and start touching back on these end of days um, recognition. Okay, so we're gonna go to Matthew twenty four for that. All right, so here's where it, it might get a little long. I'm still under an hour, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up in 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 in, in this chapter, and then three more precepts, and we should be a go. All right, so Matthew twenty four. And Yahawashai went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said, Yahawashai Salakia said to them, See not all these things. Verily I say to you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another, and Salakia, that shall not be thrown down. Okay, so the earth is going to shake. Everything's going to rattle and roll. There is nothing going to be standing upon one another. Everything's going to be torn to pieces. And, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, privately saying, tell us when shall these things be? Again, uh, like in Daniel and in previous verses, we see that that's the big old question, man. When when is this the, when is this all going down, right? Uh, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So you know everybody would love to know the sign and the end of the world, but guess what? He gave us those clues. They're there. And Yahweh answered and said to them, "Take heed that no man deceive you." Do not let yourself be deceived by the commandments of men, by the doctrines of men, by the, the by, by the lies of your mind, and by the lies of other 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 men's imaginations. Okay, the the words and the instructions are here for you. So if this is for you, you're gonna wake up to the truth, and the truth is here. Okay. Amongst your people, amongst your prophets, amongst your, 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 your disciples, your apostles, your, your scriptures, okay? Because this is for you, made by Israel for Israel, okay? Uh, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Well, we, we're starting to hear big rumors of another big showdown, okay? See that ye be not troubled. Don't worry about it. I ain't worried. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, all right? So all these things is going to go down. And still, you, you may not know the end, but this is, 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 is rolling right into it, all right? For, uh, uh, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places all right all this hard trouble is coming jacob's trouble all these are beginning of sorrows jacob's troubles all right and they shall and then shall they deliver you who's the you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Okay, again, we're still under this hatred of our enemy. All right, this is the you. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All these are the beginning of Jacob's trouble. As mentioned by the prophet Jeremiah. Okay, as mentioned by the prophet Daniel. All right, then shall... They deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And they shall be offended and shall betray one another and hate one another. Okay? So, you know, even in these troubles, man, you know, this is what Christ says. I am not coming here to set peace on earth, but division. All right? Because 
This is separating the wheat from the tear, separating the goats from the sheep. Okay, this is the, this is the sifting. There's going to be a sifting that's going to go that's going to happen amongst our people. This is how we're going to know who's who's about this and who's not. All right. And, and, all right. And um, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. This has been happening. <laughs> hence Catholicism, hence the Christian Christianity, okay? Uh, uh, we, we, we're being deceived and duped that this is a, 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 an open uh, forum for everybody, that, 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 that every type of weirdo is, is involved in that? No, if there's going to be a sifting, is that we're going to weed out all this, this nastiness and stay with the pure. We are the pure Israel, okay? All right, the pure of our people, all right? The one third. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So that love that neighbor, okay? That love that neighbor that even Christianity preaches because it's in the scriptures, of course, they're using it, but they don't even know what that is, okay? So that love that neighbor, hey, man, I got experiences right now where you're supposed to be my brother. You're supposed to be my Christian loving brother and you and, and, and you ain't got love for me because I, I, because I don't follow your false doctrines, okay? So now there's your love that neighbor going out the window on that one, didn't it? Okay. But he that shall endure to the end, here we go, here again. But he, he that shall do, endure to the end, the same shall be saved, okay? Endure in God's commandments shall be saved, okay? All right. And, and the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Here's where Christianity goes buck wild and says, yeah, all the world, here we go. But we are the world without end. This is what Isaiah speaks, okay? This is what, what the whole Bible suggests if you really knew the scriptures, okay? And, 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 and it's only for Israel, by Israel, for Israel. And if you knew the scriptures, you already would see this. There's no clear cut definition that this was open to the world. And you would use misuse this and say, he said go through all the world well, well guess what we're scattered throughout the planet okay so we need to go to, to, throughout the world to sift our people okay alright and the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations okay so guess what we're witnessing to the nations that we're going to so isn't it for all the world no we're witnessing to the world that hey you got some of our people and we need them back guess what and they and then shall the end come, all right? So we that's how God needs to show his power through his people to show that his people are going to be sifted from all nations and we'll be and, and they will be the witnesses to that. Okay? So there's your separation from the world of Israel amongst all the nations. Come on. This is not rocket science, but it's only for your vision, Israel, for the one-third vision, okay? All right, so when ye therefore shall see the abomination of the desolation spoken by the by Daniel the prophet, we just came out of Daniel, okay? This is what he was speaking to. Now Christ is reiterating it so that we can understand through the power of our King Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and, 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 and his teachings that we learn from him as an example and we can also he, he, he didn't say, hey, man, just stick here to the, to, to, to the New Testament, okay, for you New Testament Christians, you New Covenant Christians. There's no New Covenant yet, okay, till Christ comes back and sets it all straight, okay, because everything has to be straight in the New Covenant. So how can we be in the New Covenant and everything going sideways right now, all right? So for you New Testament Christians, dude. Christ didn't have a, 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 a New Testament when he was preaching. He was preaching Torah. He was preaching what he learned from the old prophets. And, and he was reiterating it. And here's another example of it. Okay. He's quoting Daniel. Stand in the holy place. Who readeth, let him understand. So if you read it. If you know it. And you're that one third. You're just going to understand it. Period. If you don't understand it, you don't get it, you may have to question yourself. What are you doing wrong? What, what, what's in your spirit? 
What, what, what false doctrine are you following that God won't allow you to see it? Okay? And maybe through that, through, through my words, through the, any other prophet's words, through, through, through the real understanding of the, spirit, uh, of the spirit of the word, you may come out of it and you may wake up out of it. I only pray. Kwam Yasharala. I'm here for you. I love you. But guess what? If you're never going to get in and you don't get it, guess what? It's just not for you. But I pray you wake up. I pray you wake up. I pray that it is for you. Okay? Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to his clothes. Okay? So, uh, um, let me just read a little more. And woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. All right. So when this starts going down, when all hell breaks loose, listen, don't worry about your clothes. Don't worry. If, if you're on your root top, uh, 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 trying to uh, 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 save yourself from what's going on around you. If you, if you're in the field, if you're, <clears throat> if you're in a certain place and you flee into the mountains, do when you when it's time to go, when it's time to hide, when it's time to break out, when it's time to uh, 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 um, seek some some refuge. That's what you got to do. No turning back. It's the same thing that the Most High instructed for Lot when he was gonna tear down Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? He told his wife not to look back. Okay. And guess what? She turned back. She looked back. Boom. Pill of salt. Burn. Nuclear fire. Petrified. Okay? So in those days, when it's all going down, you don't want to get burnt up. You don't want to get petrified. Wherever the Lord leads you for that refuge, be ready. Okay? There's no turning back from that point. All right? All right? But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Okay, for then shall be great tribulations, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor no, nor ever shall be. So this is the worst torment, the, the craziest. This is Armageddon. Okay, all right. And except, ex, and except those days shall be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elects, say those days shall be shortened. All right. So guess what? If you're not the elect, you're going through this whole thing, bro. And you're going to get burnt up at the end. All right. But for the elect, say we are going to we're going to deal with this for a short time, and we'll and our salvation be a witness to all the nations. We're going to get lifted up out of here. We're going to be on that first class ticket on the on the chariots. And sign over to everybody else and every other nation. And two-thirds of our people are going to be like, whoa. Okay? Because they're going to see it. All right? And we'll be a, and, and, and they'll be witness to it. Okay? Then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Christ. Or there, believe it not. Okay? So guess what? We don't need nobody to tell us, hey, there's Christ. Let's go. It's not going to work that way. We're just going to be snatched up and out of here. We're going to know who we're rolling with. Period. All right. For these shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that it, if, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. There it goes. The two thirds of Israel, they're going to, they're going to be deceived because they're not going to see it. They're going to be like, or, or they're going to, they're going to go, no, yeah, that's where it is. Our Christian church is going to go to the FEMA camp and we're going to be waiting there on Christ and we'll be okay because we have our faith in Jesus. Okay? But that's not how it works. Okay? 
Uh, works is with works and your faith in Jesus. And then Jesus knows very well how he's going to snatch you up out of here. All right. So don't don't fall for the oop to you that your nation and your enemies have prepared to deceive you because they will deceive the very elect. OK, because the elect as a whole was Israel. But only one third of us will be the supreme elect, the elect moving on forward. OK. Not the elect to vote. All right. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, here is in the desert, go now forth. Behold, here is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as a lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. Guess what? Whoo! In a flash of lightning, brother, this is going to happen. If you don't need nobody to tell you, if you right, you clean, you good to go, you're good to go. You ain't going to need nobody to tell you, this is where we're going to reunite to, 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 to be get saved up out of this. The very elect will be saved up out of it. The, 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 the supreme elect will move on forward with this. And the most high in his divine ways will snatch us up out of here. So for whoever, whosoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Okay, so so the, the, the eagles going to feed on your carcasses for, for those that are not uh, um, ready. All right. Okay, so um, immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Okay. Um, this, this is your nuclear holocaust. These missiles coming down and shaking the very foundation of earth. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in the heaven. And at that moment shall the sign of the son of man appear in heaven. You're going to be there it is. All right, we we're gonna know, okay? All right, and it shall, and then shall all the tribes, okay? Not all the people, all the tribes, all the twelve tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of the heaven with power and great glory. All right, and shall he, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. So wherever you may be elected, 12 tribes of Israel, Kwam Yasharala, you shall rise. All right? And learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. Ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise, when ye shall see all these things, know that, the, that, that it is near, even at the doors. It's right at the doors, man. You know, Israel, I can almost taste it, man. It's right there, man. And um, so likewise, when ye shall see these things, how... Know that, that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. All right? Like Christ said, not till one jot or one tittle shall pass from the Lord, till heaven and earth pass shall no wise be from the law. Okay? So this keeping the law, all right, and enduring to the end, this is the key to this salvation, okay? This is when the heaven and earth passes, when that new covenant in, is ushered in, when the King of Kings comes to reign on this earth and establishes us as the new governing body, and this will be our, he our new heaven and our new earth, okay? But of that day, the hour knoweth no man, not, not, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only, okay? Even Christ is saying, only my dad knows. Okay? We just waiting for dad's command. All right? But as the days of Noah, all right, where so shall also the coming of the son of man be. Right? 
So when 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 the when, when the Most High was going to destroy the earth by the flood, you think if everybody knew what time it was, they would have had their boats and arcs ready, right? But only knew on you. So we're that we're that new age Noah. We're that new age uh, 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 ark of people that that's going to be saved up out of it because we're in the know, just like no one knew. All right. That's almost like a no pun intended there. All right. For uh, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And they knew until the flood came and took them all away. So they didn't know till they was already knee deep in it. You, you, you done. You done. If you're going to wait for the missiles to rain down, to cry, oh, Yahweh shine, oh, Yahweh. Or as many of you say, oh, sweet Jesus, oh, my God. When all hell is breaking loose around you, when the shots are ringing out, when when, 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 when things are coming your way, when, when, when you're in the midst of the most danger and you see death before you, then you want to cry, oh, my God. Guess what? It's too late for, oh, my God, when, 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 when you knee deep in it. All right? When them flood waters are, are, are waist high. All right. All right. So, and knew until the flood came and took them all away, the washed them all up. So, also shall be the coming of the Son of Man. That's how it's going to come. That shall two be in the field, and one shall be taken, and, and another left. This is what Christians refer to as rapture. There's no word for rapture in the, in the word. Okay. But guess what? If you're that one in the field that's not keeping the commandments, and you're the one in the field that is keeping the commandments, guess what? You are going to be in, up in that so-called rapture. You're going to be beamed up. And the other one is going to be like, oh, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought. Yeah, you know what happened to thought. Two women shall be grinding in the mill. The one shall be taken and the other one left. What therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. All right. He's going to catch you by surprise. So it is, that's why it's important to keep these laws and statutes and commandments every day. And if you fall out of perfection, then repent immediately so that you can stay in perfection. So you can stay cleansed, washed and unblemished for when that day come, if you don't know. So you better be ready at all times. All right. A good soldier is always ready. All right? Don't be that unprepared little soldier. All right? Um, but know this, that if a good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered in his house to be broken up. All right? So guess what? If you know the day the thief's coming, you're going to lie in your closet, wait for him, pop that brother when he comes to steal your stuff. Right? Now, excuse me, Salaka, now your brother, that your enemy, all right, because, you know, we're we, we going to love our brothers, all right? This is this is an awakening for our brothers, but you know what I meant. You're just going to be in store waiting for that cat to come and try to take your, your stuff and, hey, what you doing up in here? Bah! All right, so, therefore, be ye also ready for his, such as our, as ye think not, the son of man coming. So when you least suspect it, who then, who then is faithful and wise servant? Who is the Lord have made ruler over his household to give them me in the due season? So guess what? Who is going to take care of in that time? Them that are ready to go. That's what this means. Blessed is the servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. So guess what? When, when, when your Lord cometh and you doing right, you that prepared soldier, you, 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 you doing what you're supposed to be doing and he peak game, he's going to say, you good, you good to go. All right. So bless. All right. Um, moving on. Uh, 47. Verily, I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods, meaning you will inherit the kingdom of heaven and you shall be the governing power there on forward. Okay. But and, 
and if an evil servant sh shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and eat and drink and with the drunken. All right. So if you got that evil brother or, or, or just that enemy or whoever is feeding you false doctrine, it could be your very wife. It could be your very mom. It could be your very dad. It could be your very brother, your sister, whoever, man. Man, this ain't happening now, man. And you ain't what you worrying about, man. They've been saying this for years. Hey, yeah. here, take, take take that toke of that blunt. Here, swig that, that Hennessy. Oh, let, let, let's just have a good time, man. Let's live our best life, right? Trying, right? What they say? Trying to live my best life? Uh, no, you better live your best life. And your best life is under Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and these commandments. Okay? That's living your best life so that you can sit back and enjoy life afterwards. Okay? So, so don't 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 let yourself get deceived by and it's always going to be the closest people to you bro that's always going to try to lead you astray man so that, that that's why I, you know i i the, the uh, precept again uh, um uh, paraphrase it uh, uh, christ said i come not to set uh, um, peace on earth but cause division and when he made the example, he made it as the example with your own circle, your mother, your brother, your sister, your sister-in-law, your brother-in-law. It's all these people that because they're the ones closest to you. They're the ones that 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 that, that because even in your own circle, not everybody's gonna be saved, man. So you gotta be able to peak game all the time. And, and when somebody's trying to lead you astray, the weaker vessel. Is going to come upon you because Satan is going to act on the weaker vessel. And, and, and because you want to please and put your people first, right? Because, you know, that's the, the whole thing, man. We're not putting God first. If we, if we put God first, then everybody follows behind. You know what I mean? Because then you set in the example because you're putting God first, Christ, your head, and then you follow and you follow in the chain of command. So everybody else will follow you. But no, you want to put all these people even before God. Right? So um, let, let's um, wrap this up. All right. The Lord uh, of that servant shall come in that day when he looketh not for him. And in the hour that he is not aware of and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. Right. Then shall be the weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's when you want to cry like a little bee. All right. Because you know what? Because you followed everybody else. You did what you wanted to do. You wasn't prepared. You didn't have your ticket to ride. And then you're going to cry. All right, then you're going to cry. All right, and, and, and all your weeping and gnashing of teeth is not going to help you. All your, oh my God, help me now, sweet Jesus, is not going to help you because you're going to be neck deep in the flood and it's too late. All right, so we're going to finish up with this. All right, so um, we're going to still keep with the teachings uh, uh, of Christ, right? Let's go to Matthew. Because who else best to learn from if it's not Christ himself, right? He, 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 he came and put it down. He put it down, right? This is the example we're supposed to be following, right? So he put it down for us, right? So, right? Sweet Jesus, we want to we want to follow his ways, right? All right? Sweet Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. That's what you need to be learning. And his examples. So let's go to chapter 19 of Matthew. All right, and he and here we go. You know, here's the famous question, right? Let's go to verse 16, 19 and 16. And yeah, 19 and 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Okay, so here's the big question: what I gotta do? Tell me, please, you the master. Let, let, let me know what I got to do, man. I want to do what I got to do to be right, be, get, get, have my ticket to ride. What I got to do, all right? And, and so, and, uh, and he said, he responded, okay, we're moving on to verse 17. And he responded and said to him, why callest thou me good? Okay, 
there is not God, there's not good, but one that it is Yahweh, God, right? So he gave all the glory, all the, uh, he gave all the honor to his father, all right? So why did he give all the honor and glory to his father, right? Don't call me good. Check this out. All right, so here's the check it out. All right. And, okay, I'll read it again. And he responded and said to him, why callest me that good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. That was a simple answer. Because he knew the commandments of, well, was of his father. So that's why he's saying, Everything that is good, everything that is right, everything that's righteous for the law is perfect, converting the soul, all right? Guess what? You, you follow the laws, you be converted into that righteousness by keeping the commandments. That's why they were given to you in the first place. Why would they have been corrupted? Why would they have been unjust? They were perfect from beginning to end, okay? So that you can be converted through the righteous acts of the law. For, trans, for sin is transgression of the law, okay? And the key is to keep away from sin and keep our faith and do what's good. This is all encompassed in the law, in the commandments. That's the magic ingredient. Christ gave you the magic ingredient there. He kept, he kept it that Barney. He kept it that simple. Keep the commandments if you want to enter in life. That was his answer. The most simplistic answer that he can give you. I mean, why do we make this complicated? Okay? So, let, let, let's, let's precept that. Let's, let's confirm this statement. All right? And we're going to confirm it at the very last chapter of the Bible. So, let's go to the very last book, the very last chapter of the Bible. So, this is like the conclusion. This is the end of your instruction manual. Okay? So, in the very last chapter, chapter 22... In almost the very last verses, because, you know, there's there's a little uh, uh, end phrases towards the end. So this is, but, but this is like the last chapter and the end all say all, right? Blessed, this is Revelations 22, the last chapter and the 14th verse of the end of the book. Okay, so throughout the whole scriptures and everything that you've been learning and everything instructed, you get to the final end, the apocalypse, the revelation, and, and you're going to, and, and you want to see how this all ends, right? Blessed, verse 14, bless our day that do the commandments, that day, who's the day? We are the day, right? The commandment keepers, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, that they and, and may enter, Salakia, and may enter through the gates into the city. Okay? What gates? What gates? Well, let's see. Let's go one, one, one chapter back to 21, where it's describing these such called gates, right? And let's go to 21 and 12. To see what, what gates he's talking about. You're going to have the right to enter to these gates. So this is how we know that these gates ain't for nobody else but us. And he, and excuse me, Salakia, uh, Revelation 20, 21 and 12, gate in high and had 12 gates. This is the gates that we're talking about. And the gates of, uh, and the gates, 12 angels, 12 gates, 12 bouncer angels in front of those gates. All right, and the names written there are which are the names of the twelve tribe of the children of Israel. Twelve gates, twelve tribe names. What gate are you going through? Okay, if you're not of those twelve tribes of Israel. All right. All right. So, I mean, the Bible ends it clear. Now, in all of King James. All right, there's only one reference to the conclusion of the matter. Okay? One reference to the end all say all, the word conclusion. You search the King James and search the word conclusion, it comes up one time. In fact, I'll do it right now. I know where it is. It's in Ecclesiastic 12 and 13, and 13 but I'm going to write conclusion. Okay? And guess what? 
now search one verse. One verse, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So look at the algorithm. Look at the, the, the beauty of the scriptures. The Most High knows exactly what he's doing, exactly what he's saying, exactly how he's instructing you. That's why we follow the Most High and every word. Okay? And this is word specific. Word specific. Conclusion. All right? So if somebody tells you, yo, look, this is it. Period. It's like us saying, period, this is it. Let us hear the conclusion of the matter, bro. Period. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. You, there's nothing else for you to do. This is your only obligation. This is your only duty. Fear God and keep his commandments. All right? With that I say, that's your ingredient to get up out of here. These, are, these have been the signs to what to look for. These signs are showing that it's at the door. You better scrub up, clean up, get right. That the law is that tight. All right. Wash yourself up. Do the law. Be converted. And I'll see you in the kingdom. Okay. Let, let, let's get this kingdom, Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Kahala Yahawabashim Yahawashai Barakata. Till the next one. I love you.